Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to troubleshoot OSPF neighborship between two routers. As you can see here, I have two routers R1 and R2. Guys, the subnet between router 1 and router 2 is 12.1.1.0 slash 30. I am running IP 12.1 slash 30 on router number 1 and 12.2 slash 30 on router number 2. After enabling OSPF on all the interfaces, when I am running command IP OSPF never, it, it returned me nothing. You can see the output on router number 1. Even you can see the output on router number 2. So IP OSPF never, there is nothing in the output. Sometimes you might have seen the OSPF neighborship is stuck in two-way state or in access start state and there are many reasons for that. But when you will get nothing in the return, what is the issue here guys in my scenario? Like you know, if the MTU will mismatch, then OSPF neighbors will be stuck in access start state. If routers are not able to elect DR router, then neighborship state will be stuck in two-way state because there are some OSPF parameters. And to become neighbor, like how two routers can become neighbor in OSPF. To become neighbors, there are some parameter. Some parameters must be unique and some parameter must be match like the router ID router ID must be unique area ID area ID must be match subnet must be match subnet mask must be match hello time date time must be match MTU must be match authentication must be match these are the parameters of OSPF right to become neighbor some parameter must match some parameter must be unique right like router ID so even you can verify the, the, the parameters like if I want to see the router ID on router number one I can run command show IP protocol in the output guys it will show me the entire the pro protocol configuration right but if I want to filter here I can say include and then I can say router ID show me the router ID only right or I can say only router see the router ID on router number one is 1.1.1.1 .1 it is representation in IPv4 format on router number 2 so IP protocol and then I can say include router router ID on router number 2 is 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. you can see both are unique right guys network type should also match so we can check even the network type of OSPF so IP OSPF interface F0 slash 0 and then we can say network type include network type network type over here is broadcast right and on router number 2 also network type should be same so let me copy the command and I am going to paste this same command on router number 2 here also you can see OSPF network type is exactly same broadcast so both are matching right till now we have verified two parameters of OSPF for the neighborship and both are correct like this you can verify the other parameters also like the hello time hold on time like here on router number one I'm saying so IP OSPF interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and include let's say hello so you can see the hello time over here is 40 second and dead interval is sorry hello time is 10 second and dead interval is 40 second on router number two also it should be same right it should be same here I can say include hello Yes, it is same exactly. Hello time 10 second, date time 40 second. On router number one also hello time 10 second, date interval 40 second. So we have verified the network type, we have verified the hello time, hold on time, we have verified the router ID, everything is correct. Then why OSPF neighborship is done? And even, even we have nothing in the output of so IP OSPF neighbor. Right? Like this, guys, you can verify all the parameters. I think the authentication is not configured over here even if you want to verify the OSPF configuration like the all command of OSPF that is enabled on this router I can run command so run and then I can say section show me the everything related to OSPF so it will show you everything related to OSPF so see I am running this command IP OSPF one area zero that means this command is used to enable OSPF on interface right so with the help of these two command guys I have enabled OSPF on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and on loopback 1 interface. 
right? After that, I have defined the router ID. This is the configuration of OSPF on router one. In the same way, you can check the OSPF configuration on router number two also. And the configuration is exactly same. Only the router ID is different. Rest everything is exactly same, right? So there is no authentication configuration. So we don't need to verify the authentication. Correct. Now we can verify the connectivity between router one and router two. If you are thinking that profile, maybe router one is not able to ping router two. So let me ping 12.1.1.2, which is the IP address of router two. And you can see ping is working, right? I am able to ping router two. To check the OSPF enabled interface on router, I can run command show IP OSPF interface brief. It will show me all the interfaces where OSPF is enabled. So you can see OSPF is enabled on loopback one as well as on fast Ethernet zero slash zero. So OSPF is enabled on both interfaces. Process ID is same on both interface. Area ID is same on both interface. The network and subnet mask. And guys, network and subnet mask should also match for the OSPF neighborship. So here you can see on loopback one, what network I am running? 12.1.1.1/24, .1 and on fast Ethernet 0/0, what network I am running? 12.1.1.1/30. Cost on loopback one is one, and cost on fast Ethernet 0/0 is 10. Right? A state of loopback interface is loopback, as you know, and here the state is DR. Even if you want to disable the DR and BDR between router one and router two, you can change the OSPF network type. Here network type should be point to point. This is the by default OSPF network type on Ethernet link. So definitely we should change network type here. Interface F0 slash zero, I can say IP OSPF network point to point. On router number two also, interface F0 slash zero, IP OSPF network, IP, OSPF network point to point. I have changed the OSPF network type. I have one message of OSPF. See, the state is moving from loading to down. A state is moving from loading to down. Read the log message, guys, if you know how to read the log message. If you don't know how to read the log message, then already one video is available on my YouTube channel, right? You can watch that video to read the log message. This is date, time, the message. After that, OSPF, this is a message of OSPF and write type 5 message. Process ID 1, never 2.2.2.2 on fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 from loading to full and then from loading to down. So first never have, never ship have come up to full state and then again it's going loading to full. So again, so IP OSPF neighbor. Again, there is no neighborship. Now OSPF neighborship is full here, full. On order number two, so IP OSPF neighbor. Now you can see neighborship is full. So guys, after changing the OSPF network type, neighborship is full. But when network type was broadcast, then neighborship was down, right? So which concept it is? Everything was exactly same, right? And both side network type was broadcast, but the neighborship was down and all the configuration was correct. But when I have set the network type point to point, the neighborship is full, right? So. IP OSPF database. Even in the database, you can see we are able to see the router LSA of both router, router 1.1.1 and 2.2.2. 1.1.1 is router 1, 2.2.2 is router 2. If I will open the database in detail to check, am I learning this subnet, like the loopback of router 2 on router number 1 or not, I can open it in detail or I can check the routing table. So IP route OSPF. Right, yes, I am learning. This network 192.168.2.1. Actually, on the loopback, by default network type is loopback, so it is advertising with slash 30, right? Even you can change it on loopback interface, interface loopback one. I can say IP OSPF network 
and let me say point to point once I will set point to point it will start advertising with slash 24 do history do so history I can run this co this command these two command on router number two also config t and let me enter now guys on router number one you can again verify the routing table so IP route OSPF and this time you can see we have the subnet with slash 24 right on order number two so IP route OSPF so IP route OSPF yes this router is learning the loopback of router one right and let me check the connectivity both are able to ping 192.168.2.1 and source 192.168.1.1 yes you can see ping is working both the networks are able to communicate with each other but guys what was the issue with network type broadcast so issue is here so IP OSPF interface brief see the output and or same output on order number two so IP OSPF interface brief guys here see on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address is 12.1.1 and submit mask is slash 30 slash 30 and on order number 2 submit mask is slash 24 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 submit mask is slash 24 so submit mask is mismatch right but remember the parameter of OSP of submit mask must be match so still submit mask is mismatch right then you can ask to me Praful how it's possible that we have OSPF neighborship because the submit mask is not seem submit mask is different on router number one submit mask is 30 and on router number two submit mask is 24 but still we have OSPF neighborship and both are exchanging routes and both are even able to communicate with each other both the remote side remote networks are able to communicate with each other so guys this is your question what is the concept of it like the if net submit mask is different then OSPF neighborship is down in case of broadcast network type but in case of point to point OSPF neighborship is still up even if submit mask is not same right I can try one more thing here I can again try to change the network type and let me show you the output so IP OSPF sorry I interface faster than 0 slash 0 IP OSPF network point to sorry not point to point I am going to set here point broadcast broadcast and on router number 2 also interface F 0 slash 0 IP OSPF network broadcast and see OSPF neighborship is again guys down so IP OSPF neighbor down there is nothing in the output there is nothing on order number two also so IP OSPF neighbor so how it's happening how we have full neighborship in case of point to point network type and we don't have neighborship in case of broadcast please let me know your answer guys in the comment section and if you don't know if you want and the solution from my side just let me know in the comment section I will try to make one video on it in detail bye bye thanks for watching that's all for today